so one, one of the big questions that comes up is how, how do I have my relationships be better? And I'm a big fan of radical transparency. When I was, uh, this must be 20 something years ago when I got my first coach, she would talk about something called nosebleed honesty. Mm. And that really stuck with me. She's like, in relationships, you've got to practice that. And then if the person sticks around, you're really onto something. If they don't stick around, then you had bigger, tr bigger troubles than that. So I'm writing a book now with my co-author, Shana List, and it's called Name That Mouse, because the elephant is not the only animal in the room. Uh, you know, we've all heard about the elephant. You see it, Victor. I see it. No one's saying anything. Let's suppose I showed up to this interview without wearing a shirt. I'd be a pretty big elephant in the room if we're not addressing it. And by the way, in my last interview, I was testing links before the interview and it took me straight into the room, put me on video and I did not have a shirt. So that was, that was a little bit embarrassing and fun at the same time. Um, but we all know about the elephant, but many animals in the room are much more subtle. They're, they might just be in my head. Maybe you see it, maybe you don't. And the more we can practice naming those mice, the deeper connected we can get. And I, one example that I think has paid off in my business life is when I approached Jack Canfield from Chicken Soup to write the forward to my book. I, I asked him and I felt a little guilty asking him because I'd also asked Richard Branson and Richard Branson was my priority. If Richard said yes, I was going to go with it. And if Jack said yes, and then Richard said yes, I'd be super embarrassed about it. So I decided to name a mouse with Jack. I said, would you be willing to write the forward? And I want to be transparent with you. I have asked Richard Branson. And if he says, yes, I'm going to go with that. Would you be willing to be my backup? Bold move, both asking him and then telling him that he's second in line and classic Jack. He said, well, you're going alphabetically. I, I understand that. And I just, <laughs> right. And now we laughed about it. And now I was totally upfront with him and I can't prove this, but I believe that one of the reasons that I became friends with Jack and got to hang out with him, um, socially and personally, and that he finally agreed to write the book is that I did practice radical transparency. I could have lost the opportunity to have him write the forward. I didn't. He ended up doing it. And this was after he just decided not to dilute his name by writing a bunch of forwards. So I just such an evangelist. It pays off. It pays off. It pays off most of the time. And if you lose something because you took a risk and you said the truth, maybe that's what you were supposed to lose.